I've now been on the Victoria Derbyshire show. I was interviewed by Vanessa Feltz on BBC Radio London. I've been on Woman's Hour. I must admit, I have found it all a bit difficult. I'm used to asking the questions, not answering them. And I found it emotionally quite difficult too, because up until now, I've been deliberately almost in denial about my condition. I, I don't ask the doctors all the questions, but my journalistic colleagues have been probing. Um, there's been quite a lot of press about me as well. There's an article in the Daily Mail. Clearly, the journalists have been doing their homework, and to see in black and white how serious my condition is, my acute myelodysplexia, which could lead to acute leukemia, is quite frightening. Um, funny enough, with, with all this press and attention, I've had to come to terms with my condition um, maybe more readily than I would have. But the good thing is that the message is getting out there for more donors, for some 8,000 people in this country and some 37,000 worldwide. So I do hope that the publicity has helped in some way. I was commissioned to write a book shortly before I was diagnosed. It's been a lifeline in many ways because it makes a huge distraction in my life. I try and write three hours a day, both while I'm at home waiting for a donor and when I'm receiving treatment in hospital, if I feel up to it. Um, it has its upsides and downsides. The, the book is entitled The War on Women and it's an account of the number of human rights abuses that I have been reporting on over the last 25 years. The UN is disappointed how few refugees are prepared to return home and the Croatians say they can hardly accommodate those who are here already. The downside is that uh, there's um, some pretty tough reading matter to get through. I'm currently reading Mass Rape in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Um, the upside is that it certainly helps me put my plight into perspective. It could be a lot worse. Okay. No worries. I'll just say something to the camera. This is my, my weekly blood test um, to measure my white cells, my platelets, my red cells. Um, basically, it's always quite a nerve-wracking moment at the moment because I want to confirm that I'm still in remission. I don't understand why so many. Why so many? So we take one to see what your, like your neutrophil count's doing and your, your platelet and your hemoglobin. So we're assessing your immune system and your ability to clot uh, and things like that, which is important sure. to know. These are, these are my blood results. Yeah. And I'm getting quite good at interpreting <laughs> them. The neutrophils are good, 2.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the platelets are going really slowly, 56. They should be 80, they shouldn't be. I'm getting very good at reading my, my blood counts now. It's funny how I knew nothing about haematology four months ago and now I reckon I'm a bit of an amateur expert. So it looks as if the important ones, the white cells, the, the neutrophils are doing well, my red blood cells are doing well. There's something called platelets are still very low, um, which in many ways is, is good news because they won't allow me in for a third course of chemotherapy until my platelets go up. I don't want a third course of chemotherapy, which is horrible. The next time I'm admitted into hospital, I want to have my stem cell transplant. Um, my problem now is that um, if it carries on too long, the wait for a donor, I might relapse, which makes my long-term prognosis not so good if I have a relapse before I can have my stem cell transplant. Okay, thank you. The trouble about being ill with a potentially terminal disease is that everybody wants to come and see you. And my reaction is to be very reclusive. I actually much prefer my own company and a good book and listening to some music. So I don't want to be rude, but um, what I tend to do is try and get people to come together rather than having to have 
lunch one day and then coffee the next day with one person. So I'm just preparing for tomorrow when I've got um, two girlfriends coming to lunch and my sister and another friend coming with her baby in the afternoon. So get it all done in, in one day, then I can go back to my own company.